Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to the beginning of my Sonic the Hedgehog 3 playthrough on Sonic Jam. And uh, I already have um, a playthrough of this on my YouTube channel, but I deleted it. I, well, I had a playthrough of it. So uh, I deleted it because uh, my, my story theory was wrong, so I thought I'd get rid of it and do it all again before I get some Sonic extremist find my videos and start bashing me for it. So. Uh, there's the instruction manual, I'm going to read that to you again. Alright, let's uh, zoom in. So we can actually see the details. So uh, on the first page we've got the uh, epilepsy warning. Read before using your Sega video game system. And we've got the table of contents of what the uh, instruction manual holds. And the next page we've got Handling the cartridge, if you don't know how to do that, safety precautions, uh, starting up and setting up your Sega Mega Drive, or in this case, your Sega Genesis. Alright, here's the story. I'm not going to say no more about the story, I'm just, I'm just going to stick with what it says in the instruction manual, and you can't, then I can't go wrong. So, Sonic's adventure continues. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 takes place on the mysterious floating island which holds many special powers. The source of these chaos of these powers are Chaos Emeralds. In Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic and Tails thought that they had destroyed the Death Egg which was Dr. Robotnik's heavily armoured ship. Instead, Dr. Robotnik managed to crash land on the floating island after learning that the island is able to float in the sky by harnessing the power of the Emeralds, the Doc decides to steal the Emeralds so he can repair his Death Egg ship. To obtain the emeralds, Dr. Robotnik tricks Knuckles, the guardian of the floating island, the Chaos Emeralds. He, tells, he also tells Knuckles that Sonic and Tails are the ones trying to steal the emeralds. Between battling the new types of badniks and trying to outsmart Knuckles, Sonic and Tails have their work cut out for them once they arrive on the floating island and search for Dr. Robotnik. So that's the story of Sonic 3. You will soon discover that the Sonic 3 Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is packed with zones which are three times larger than those found in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Each zone is made up of two acts and each act contains dozens of challenges and obstacles for Sonic and Tails to overcome. For example, Carnival Night Zone, anybody? Uh, Player Sonic or Tails, Sonic's Goals, which we already know. Let's go to the next page. Meet Knuckles the Echidna. Age 15 years old, species Echidna, favourite foods, fruit, especially grapes, uh, special abilities, discovering hidden passageways and using his knuckles to dig. Knuckles was born and raised on the floating island and he knows all he knows all of its secrets. He's strong, athletic and clever. Because Knuckles knows every hidden passageway on the island, it's easy for him to block Sonic's path, create extra obstacles, set traps and steal Sonic's golden rings. Long ago, an, an ancient civilization lived on the floating island before this civilization mysteriously disappeared. It left behind many secrets and mystical powers. Being the only living descendant of this lost civilization, Knuckles has become the guardian of the Chaos Emeralds, which are the source of the island's special floating power. Dr. Robotnik's Death Egg has lost its ability to fly after crash landing on the island. Having learned that the Chaos Emeralds can make this make his ship fly again, the Doc decides to steal the Emeralds, but first he must make Knuckles believe that Sonic and Tails are his enemies and that they are the ones trying to steal the Emeralds. Once Knuckles believes Robotnik's lies, he'll do whatever it takes to stop Sonic and Tails. And there's the basic moves what we're going to be doing. Let's go to the next page. Super moves, we've got the spin dash, blast through obstacles or smash a badnik with his with this power packed maneuver. Hold the down D-pad down and press the A, B or C button multiple times. When you release the D-pad, Sonic or Tails will shoot forward. Tails to the rescue, while playing one player game with Sonic and Tails, together use the second controller to use to control Tails. Use Tails to airlift Sonic out of danger or to areas which are unreachable by Sonic alone. Uh, super moves continued. Insta Shield. Quickly press 
the A, B or C button twice and you will generate enough energy for Sonic to be protected by a shield by, by a shield for a split second. Make Tails fly or swim. Quickly press the A, B or C button twice while playing as Tails and he'll fly or swim for a limited time if it is necessary. Okay. Uh, starting up the, save, the game save feature, uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 cartridge has a special game save feature that allows you to store game data for up to six different games. Each game you save will be stored in one of the six game save windows. After selecting one player, the game save feature screen will appear. Or oh, why am I reading that? <laughs> Wasting time. Let's go to the next page. Uh, we've got Sonic Power Ups, Super Rings. This Power Up monitor is worth 10 gold rings. Invincibility, uh, Flame Shield. These are the new abilities in the game. We've got Flame Shield, protect Sonic and Tails from a fire attack. When the shield is activated, Sonic can perform a mid-air fireball spin dash by leaping into the air and pressing the A, B or C button. Water Shield. Sonic and Tails can breathe underwater and bounce like a ball. Sonic can also defeat most badniks by bouncing on their heads when he is surrounded by the Water Shield bubble. Uh, and we have continued. Lightning Shield. When activated, gold rings will gravitate towards Sonic or Tails. This shield will also protect Sonic and Tails from electric attacks and energy ball attacks from badniks. While this shield is active, Sonic can double jump in mid-air, quickly press the A, B or C button twice. And then we have the uh, the one-up monitor. And we have a new one called the Robotnik. It's just called the Robotnik. <laughs> Danger. Activating this power down icon causes, it causes the same amount of damage to Sonic or Tails as an attack from a, ba from a badnik. Sonic or Tails will either lose their gold rings or, without gold rings, lose a life. So you don't want to touch those. So we'll stay well away from those. Um, the special stage, which looks a lot different to what you saw in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, within every act, you'll discover at least one hidden room containing a giant gold ring. When Sonic or Tails leap into the ring, they'll teleport into the special stage. Use the D-pad to dodge the red energy spheres and grab the blue ones. When the blue sphere transforms, into gold rings, grab them to make gold rings appear. Look for square formations of blue spheres, then grab the sphere along the outer edge of the square. All of the blue spheres that make up the square will turn into gold rings. White star spheres are bumpers which Sonic and Tails bounce off of. Press the A, B or C button to jump. Once you've collected all, the, all, all of the blue spheres, a Chaos Emerald will appear. And you have a new feature which is uh, the bonus stages, which is the Gumball Machine. Uh, grab extra 1-ups, bonus power-ups and golden rings by turning the crank of this special gumball machine. To find this bonus stage, collect 50 or more, or more gold rings during a single act, activate a star post and then leap into the tiny stars that appear. Just like you saw in Sonic 2, but you don't go to a, a Chaos Emerald special stage, you just go to that. So the bonus stage is power-up, so within that bonus stage you can get the following. Uh, barrier shield, Grab a B Gumball where Sonic or Tails will be rewarded with a random type of shield so you can get a spring barrier. Each time Sonic or Tails bounce off the catapults below the Gumball machine they disappear. Grabbing a Rep Gumball will, will replace the catapults. When Sonic or Tails fall past the catapults they will automatically exit the bonus stage. You've got Super Ring, these Gumballs are worth 10. You've got the 1-Up Bumper Gumballs which bounce off of these Gumballs. And the Clear Gumballs, the joke is on you. Nothing happens if Sonic or Tails grabs a clear gumball in the bonus stage. You got nearly 10 minutes and I've just gone through the, the manual. <laughs> uh, the floating island, one player mode, a guided tour. So these are the stages we're going to be going through. Or well, for me again. Uh, Angel Island, welcome to the floating island. Things will really heat up once Dr. Robotnik sets fire to this area of the island. Beware of the flying battery blimp. Your hydrosity zone, keep Sonic's lungs filled with air as you explore the underwater regions of the island. Marble Garden, use Sonic Spin Dash attack to crash through marble barriers and propel Sonic up steep hills as he explores this ancient city. The Floating Island, one player mode, a guided tour. Continued, Carnival Night, 
nightlife on the floating island is exciting. Bounce and flip your way across this colourful zone which is filled with anti-gravity platforms. Ice cap zone. Things will get pretty chilly as Sonic and Tao slide their way through this, this arctic wasteland. Be sure to smash open blocks of ice to reveal power-ups and hidden passageways. Launch base, which doesn't have a, an illustration. You're getting close to where Dr. Robotnik is repairing his Death Egg ship. This is your last chance to stop Doc's evil scheme. Right, let's go to the next page. Uh, two player mode. Uh, I'm playing solo so I'm not interested in that. Two player mode. Do, 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 do. Choose your characters. Oh, this is all uh, multiplayer stuff. Here we go, this is where it gets a bit more interesting. Dr. Robotnik's new badniks. We've got Rhino Bot, Monkey Dude, Bluminator, Point Dexter, Mantis, Tunnel Bot, Caterkiller Jr., Turbo Spiker, Bugganaut, Spiker, Bubbles, Bat Bot, Jaws, Blastoid, Mega Chopper, Blaster, Clamor, or Clamor, Blastoid, or is that Blastoist, the Pokemon? We've got some more here to show you. Continued. Techno Squeak, Flybot, or is it Flybot? 767, Penguinator, Starpointer, Orbinot, Corky, and Snail Blaster. And some tips. And I think the next page is more tips. More Sonic Super Play tips. Don't forget, in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Taos has the ability to help Sonic when caught in a difficult situation. Use controller 2 to take control of Tails. Press A or B. I don't know why I started reading that. <laughs> yeah, you can push pause if you want, if you want to read that. There's some more tips there. Let's go to the next page. Uh, credits. Which you'll see at the end of the game in more detail. And there's no uh, Michael Jackson. And there's a. Uh, but you can keep your score or your logs, player's log. Some more. Uh, there's your limited warranty, which means nothing now. And then the the rear of the instruction manual, which advertises uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which I do have. And I will be doing a Let's Play of this at some point. Now. As I haven't got enough time to, to actually, actually start the uh, Sonic 3 game, I'll just quickly flick through um, the Japanese manual because I know I just I had a look at that the other day, and I noticed that it's more colourful than what the the English manual was or is. And look at that! Here we go. I won't I won't go into too much detail. I'll just flick through it from here, and you'll see what I mean. Look how colourful that is! It's got loads of pictures in it as well. Look at that. <laughs> Why didn't we get something like this? And I bet it's more detailed as well about the story so you can understand it more. So you've got a picture of the, uh, the control pad. Uh, what's next? Pretty much the same as what I just read in the English manual. It's just all in Japanese. There you go. It shows you uh, guidelines of how to do the uh, Chaos Emerald special stages. Which in the the English manual it just it was all in writing, but this is better. It's got actual illustrations to show you, and a gumball machine, and it's all in colour. It's got a bit of English as well. There you go, characters and enemies. Look at that, <laughs> crazy. We ain't got a picture like that in our manual. We've got knuckles. Look at that picture of all the badniks. We, all we got is some tacky black and white outlines. You got the zones. You got. Um, you know, I'll zoom in. I'll show you in a bit more detail. You can't see from there. Look at that. <laughs> some illustrations there of all the uh, gimmicks in the uh, in the in the zones. Can't really see there, it's a bit blurred, ain't it? Let's go to the next one. Uh, Marble Garden. Look at that. <laughs> okay, you know, it's amazing, isn't it? It's the best manual. And uh, Sonic and Knuckles is pretty much the same, it's got the same sort of thing. But I'll get into that when we start Sonic and Knuckles as an individual game. 
Ice cap. Got a Sonic the snowboard in there. And you got knuckles. And you got Lord Space Zone. And what you got here? Uh, pretty much. Uh, I don't know. I ain't got a clue. I can't read it. It's all blurred. Go to the back. Look at that. <laughs> no advertisements. So uh, that's uh, that was the Japanese manual. So uh, I don't think I've got enough time to start the game. So that's that whole video just on the uh, instruction manuals. So um, yeah, I'm going to end the video there, and in the next video we'll start the game. <laughs> so yeah, thanks thanks for watching. Uh, sorry if I wasted your time looking into uh, man instruction manuals. And uh, if you want to watch me play through the game again, uh, look out for the next part. Bye for now.